Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Editor-in-chief Wang Xiaoan commented on Xiao Zun's album We, criticizing it as being unpleasant and a waste of time, and suggested that he quit the circle. Recently, with the heavy launch of Xiao Zun's new album We, Xiao Zun has received a lot of comments, including Wang Xiaoan, who signed as the director, and also sharply commented on Xiao Zun's first album We on the social platform directly criticizing Xiao Zan's new album for being unpleasant and a waste of time, and claiming that his friends around him can sing better than Xiao Zan. It is worth mentioning that Wang Xiao and also said that if Xiao Zan can't sing, he should just focus on filming. As the name suggests, it is suggested that Xiao Zan quit the circle and quit the music circle. This comment is surprising. It is reported that Wang Xiao and, as the editor-in-chief, also made an evaluation after Xiao Zan's new album We was launched directly criticizing Xiao Zan's new album for being unpleasant and a waste of time, and also said that his friends around him can sing better than Xiao Zan, and listening to Xiao Zan singing is a pure waste of time. On the other hand, Wang Xiao and also suggested that Xiao Zan quit the circle, that is, stop singing, and let Xiao Zan focus on filming. In fact, there is no reason for this evaluation. It is acceptable to dislike in all criticisms, but others have no right to influence Xiao Zan's choice. Xiao Zan has already been recognized by most people in mainstream media, which is very successful. Sui Hark's film version of The Legend of the Condor Heroes has been scheduled, with explosive special effects and strong visual effects. It will be a short time before the 2025 Spring Festival, which is full of hope and dreams. When the first ray of morning light penetrates the clouds and sprinkles on the earth, movie lovers in China and even around the world will focus their attention on the annual event that is about to begin, the Spring Festival schedule. An audiovisual feast is ready to go. At present, it is known that there will be two heavyweight productions, which are like two colliding meteorites, hitting our hearts directly. In particular, the new chapter of the Fengshan series directed by Wushin Fengshan II, War in Ziki, which not only carries the beautiful memories of countless fans of the previous work, but also carries a comprehensive upgrade in plot depth and visual effects. Following the brilliant achievements of the previous work, the sequel will return with unstoppable momentum just in time for the Spring Festival, full of confidence and expectations. The film tells the story of the ancient land of Ziki, where a war concerning the fate of the people of the world quietly kicks off. How will the heroes choose, and how will they write their own legends? All these answers will be found in this movie. With the gradual blooming of the charm of the male protagonist Yushi, his positive effect on the box office of the film is becoming more and more significant, like a sergeant who is unstoppable, strong and dazzling. The plot will also be comprehensively upgraded this time, and the fierce battle between Ziki and Shuang is expected to cost a huge amount of money. It can be said that I am like a wolf that has been hungry for three days, looking eagerly at the first day of the Lunar New Year, waiting for this visual feast to start, what a crazy meal. In addition, the long-awaited The Legend of the Condor Heroes, The Greatest Hero, abbreviated as the film version of The Condor Heroes, also brings good news. It will meet us on the same day. In fact, even without analysis, it can be seen that this film is undoubtedly aimed at climbing to the top of the box office. From the exquisite narrative, the professionalism of the behind-the-scenes team to the star-studded cast, almost every link reveals unparalleled market competitiveness. With the gorgeous debut of the first trailer, it quickly caught my attention and also set off a wave of discussion on social media. From the carefully designed plot clues to the actor's interpretation, every detail reveals the ingenuity of the production team. Many people have said that this is not just a trailer for the movie, but more like a double feast of vision and emotion, which makes me eager to explore more unknown stories. Sui Hark's masterpiece, creating epic shocking scenes This film version of The Legend of the Condor Heroes is carefully crafted based on chapters 34-40 to 40 of Mr. Jin Yong's classic work. Not only is it faithful to the essence of the original work, but it also adds many refreshing plots. The story will revolve around the growth process of Guo Jing played by Xiao Zan, in his youth, from being ignorant at the beginning to becoming a master later, and the love line between him and Wang Rong, played by Zhang Dafri, is even more exciting. As the plot develops, the two not only have to face threats from external forces, but also have to overcome their inner conflicts and struggles. In the end, after experiencing countless hardships and obstacles, they finally understand that a true hero is not only about having powerful strength, but more importantly, being firm in their hearts. The romance and passion of the martial arts world, 
and a positive attitude towards life we are all as familiar with this legendary story that has been sung by countless people and whose glory has not been erased by time as if we were old friends. When we talk about adaptation, it does not mean that we have to make changes to this classic work, but rather we have a sacred mission, to deeply explore and perfectly interpret the spiritual core and cultural connotations that transcend time and space in Mr. Jin Yong's works. This is not just a simple film and television reproduction. It is also a dialogue between our hearts and brains, aiming to make this precious cultural heritage shine more brightly in the context of the new era. Some people may say that they're tired of such old-fashioned stories. However, I wonder if you in front of the screen have ever thought about what age you are. 70s? 80s? Or 90s? If you are not allowed to play it because you are a person born in the 80s and have watched it too many times, what about the later generations? What about the post-zeros and post-tens? Some good literature and good stories need to be constantly renewed and played for the later generations who are young descendants to appreciate. You can't force young people today to watch it with the picture quality of snowflakes more than 10 years ago, right? Ahem, I'm off topic. There are some things that I can't help but talk about after reading the comments of netizens. Back to the topic. Imagine if this film was not produced by a strong team, but by other teams. Then for the majority of movie fans, there would inevitably be a subtle change in their hearts, from the initial expectation to a vague sense of uneasiness and suspicion. The reason behind this emotion is actually very simple, looking back on the past few years, although a large number of film and television works based on classic literary works have emerged in the market, unfortunately, most of them have ultimately failed to achieve a perfect balance between artistic value and commercial benefits leaving us with only a short-lived sense of freshness and the subsequent disappointment. Fortunately, this time seems to be a little different. Just a glance at the word Sui Hark makes our hearts involuntarily stretch out, as if the spring breeze is blowing on our faces. As a monument of martial arts films, he is not only renowned for his unique personal artistic perspective in the industry and outside. He also deeply imprints this uniqueness in every work. Sui Hark's films are always breathtaking with spectacular scenes thrilling action scenes, intricate plots and profound themes. For example, the Wang Fi Hong series. It ushered in a new era of martial arts movies, and captured countless audiences with its unique style and character creation. The subsequent Dragon Gate Flying Daggers and Detective D, the four heavenly kings are almost all pearls in the field of martial arts movies. Imagine if even this director, who has been known for his superb skills and deep understanding for decades, could not perfectly present Mr. Jin Yong's masterpiece The Legend of the Condor Heroes on the big screen, then it would be difficult to find an artist in the entire world of light and shadow who dares to take on this hot potato. Perhaps many people have not noticed that Sui Hark has long been a loyal fan of the world created by Jin Yong. Many years ago, when digital imaging technology was not yet popular, he resolutely embarked on the journey of visualizing swordsmen with infinite love and respect for it. However, ideals are full but reality is full of skinny. Due to the relatively backward shooting technology and special effects production level at that time, the magnificent and sword-like Jiang Hu picture in Sui Hark's mind was unfortunately not perfectly presented to the world. This unfinished martial arts dream is like a seed buried deep in Sui Hark's heart, waiting to bloom with its own glory in a more dazzling manner one day. But for many years, Sui Hark has always been burning with enthusiasm for adapting Jin Yong's works, and even plan of the return of the Condor Heroes trilogy series. According to the in-depth analysis of the timeline of the existing story, it is not difficult to find that if this new work can set off a wave in the market again, it will not only greatly enhance Sui Hark's reputation in the film and television industry, but also lay a solid foundation for his next trilogy series. Therefore, it can be foreseen that Sui Hark will spare no effort in the production of the film version of The Legend of the Condor Heroes, striving to achieve perfection and details, so as to give the martial arts theme a new brilliance. Although the trailer is only 30 seconds long, Sui Hark, with his usual unique insights and innovative methods, has sketched out a familiar yet novel martial arts world for us. Especially that scene, Guo Jing and Wang Rong galloped on horseback in the magnificent real scene, bravely facing the mighty army and its shocking power is enough to make our hearts surge and our backs chill. From this delicate scene, it is not difficult to find that as an art form, the time limitation of film makes it impossible for it to show every plot and every character's psychological activities in the original work one by one like a novel. However, it is this limitation that inspires the wisdom of the creators. They choose a more focused path through carefully selected key scenes and profound dialogues to convey a more grand theme, 
the deep love for the country and the lover. This is not only a tribute to the spirit of the original work, but also an accurate capture of the audience's emotional resonance. As a result, the film naturally incorporates magnificent war scenes, and such a design is undoubtedly to cater to our yearning for the visual feast of the big screen. In addition, if we look closely at the released posters, we can find some interesting details. For example, on that carefully crafted poster, we can clearly see that the driving force behind this film, Film Studio Company, Limited, and Hangbian Film and Television, are both companies under the talented director Sui Hark. Faced with such a huge cost scale, and the producers are all his own companies, Sui Hark is obviously full of confidence in himself. Next, it depends on whether the actors can shine in this movie. From traffic stars to powerful actors, Ziozon's new challenge when it was learned that Sui Hark, a film master renowned at home and abroad, boldly used several young idols who are at the peak of their careers as the main actors in his upcoming works, not only did countless fans get excited, but even people like me who don't usually chase stars couldn't help but be curious can these young traffic faces shine their own light surrounded by old actors? Let's first take a look at the male protagonist, Zio Zan, a very famous star in the TV industry. Since The Untamed became popular, he has been like a fish in water in the TV circle. The works he has handled have set off waves of enthusiasm without exception, and he has become a hot actor in the eyes of many directors. He has top acting skills and is now a well-deserved top star. Although the outside world has different opinions on Ziozan, it is undeniable that when he saw his friend Wang Yibo, who once fought side by side, achieve remarkable results in the film industry, he might inevitably feel a wave of emotion in his heart. This feeling is like watching someone else's child suddenly grow up to look like an adult. I am proud of him but also can't help but feel a little bit of comparison. However, the artistic display on the screen and the dramatic interpretation in front of the screen are essentially two completely different artistic rivers. Each flows with a unique charm and style. Ziozan has also bravely stepped into the big screen before, such as his wonderful appearance in Ziozan, but unfortunately the response was mediocre, and the box office support mostly came from the enthusiastic support of fans. For the general audience, his charm does not seem to have been fully demonstrated therefore, for Ziozan. Whether his future in the film industry can be smooth and broad will largely depend on his upcoming works, such as the performance of the film version of The Legend of the Condor Heroes, which is adapted from the classic martial arts novel. If this movie can win our love and achieve good box office results, it will undoubtedly add a strong touch to his acting career, otherwise, it may take more effort and attempts to prove his strength. After personal analysis, his chances of winning are quite considerable. After all, Last year's Fanchon trilogy series was also said to be old-fashioned and not optimistic, but in the end, actor Yushi still fought his way out of the siege. In addition, Ziozan's costume appearance is not only well received by the public, but also a topic we talk about after dinner. Whenever he appears in a gorgeous costume, he always catches our attention instantly. Whether it is the innocence when showing a boyish feeling, or the writing skills and temperament he showed in the trailer, they all exude a unique charm that I can't resist judging from the fans' reactions, everyone said that they didn't mean to care. It didn't matter if they didn't like it. There would naturally be listeners who liked it. There was no flattery here. If you look at the online reviews, you can easily find that many industry authorities have expressed their expectations and blessings. In addition to some actors and singers, there are also music critics, hosts, and judges who all gave Ziozan a thumbs up and carefully interpreted Ziozan's new album. His recognition is very high. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.